Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel D Creations Resources. We are looking at multiple choice questions from physics as well as maths. Let's deal with a question from statistical maths. The question is about mean deviation. The question is what is the mean deviation from the mean for the following data? And the data has been given. Five points have been given namely 117, 156, 206, 198 and 223. And the options are minus 1, 0, 1, 10. So you have to find out the mean deviation for this data. Now if you know the concept and if you know the procedure of finding out mean deviation, just pause this video, find it out and then check the answer. If you are not aware of it, let's have a look at it. If you recall, earlier we had talked about central tendency and statistical measures of central tendency. And mean happened to be one of them and it's basically the average value of the data set so for example here you can see there are 10 points that have been given so all you need to do is add these up and divide by 10 because that's the total number of data points and what you get is the answer mean now when you are finding out the mean deviation you also need to know what is deviation now deviating is a word we used even colloquially so basically how far is it from certain value that is what you intend to find out when you are saying you are finding out deviation. So it's a measure to find the difference between observed value and certain expected value. Now what is mean deviation? Now if there are a set of values then you will find deviation of each value and then you will find the average of these deviations that is the mean deviation so the steps are straightforward you have to first find out mean or the average so that is going to be like the your reference point now and then you have to calculate distance of each value from that particular reference point that is mean and finally you will calculate mean of those distances so let us do it for this data given. So what is the first step you will take? Add them up and divide by 5 to get the average. Let us see. So if you add them up and divide by 5, you get 180 as the answer. So this is going to be your reference point. Now for every point, you will need to see what is the distance of this particular point from this reference point 180. So for example, if it's 117, 117 minus 180 is minus 63. Similarly, 156 minus 180 is minus 24. 198 minus 180 is 26. Uh, sorry, 198 minus uh, 180 is 18. 206 minus 180 was 26. And 223 minus 180 is 43. Then now you have got deviations of every number from the reference number which was basically the mean of these five numbers. Now when you want to find out mean deviation, take average of all these that means add them up and divide by 5 simply because number of data points are 5. So if you add them up, well here the answer is simple. When you add them up, the answer that you get is 0 itself. So anything divided by 0 is just going to give you another 0. So out of the options given, B is the right option and the answer is 0. So you can do it and just remember that when you basically add them up and if it comes out to be a negative number you need to ignore the minus sign as told earlier and the whatever positive number you will get you have to divide it by the number of data points so in this case it was simple it was zero itself so there was no reason to ignore any kind of sign there but uh, if it is signed especially if it has a negative sign that is where you will have to ignore it if it's positive anyway it doesn't matter so this is the concept of mean deviation and this was the question many times this question has been asked the numbers would change but the procedure wouldn't okay thank you